Four baby peregrine falcons were banded this afternoon in downtown Springfield. It's in an effort that goes back more than 30 years to save a once endangered species with special ties here to Western Mass. And Western Mass news reporter Matt Satilli now joins us live in studio with more on that. Matt. Chris, today's process will help biologists track these babies and provide useful information that will help this species survive. On Monday afternoon, officials from Mass Wildlife ascended to the 21st floor of Monarch Place to ban four three-week peregrine falcons. Today was a great success um, to be able to get those bands on the birds, have mom away for most of that, and then come back when we were ready to put them back in the nest is perfect timing. Peregrine falcon restoration efforts at Monarch Place date back to 1989, the perfect place for a bird of prey. Building like this is a human constructed uh, device. It's really an, almost like an artificial cliff. If you're a peregrine falcon, it's a safe place to raise your young, to hunt from, and honestly, um, ample food in the area. Prior to the use of DDT, a commonly used pesticide, there were close to 375 nesting pairs in the U.S. By 1966, that number was down to zero. They were listed as an endangered species in the United States, and that's when our restoration efforts began. But thanks to efforts like the banding on Monday afternoon, this species is on the rise again. And officials tell us Western Mass is a special spot for these birds. This nest has been important for us because it's produced so many young. Um, having 44 chicks that were produced out of the nest over this site over the years is greatly contributing to our success across the entire state. For the fastest bird on earth? If they can get 248 miles per hour in a controlled dive called a stoop. It's a slow and steady process, and everyone had a hand in the process that provides biologists with important information about the bird's movements, lifespan, and injury recovery. The building that has produced dozens of falcons over the years and even provided a namesake for the city's hockey team will serve as home base for the summer before these birds start their own families. Their young will stick with them until about August when they'll find their own territory somewhere else, particularly here in New England or in the northeastern part of the United States. Paulson and Rogers say mom and dad will likely return to nest in Springfield and they've seen the babies fly as far north as Quebec to make nests of their own. And no, they don't have names, but you can name them at home and keep an eye on them on the Monarch Place webcam and learn more information about the species. All that information can be found on our website, westernmassnews.com. Just click on the blue as seen on TV button. Reporting live in studio, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.